poem for today from this selection of three that I've taken from this book is entitled Oxford by T. Lovett Williams. Oxford is a beautiful, beautiful place. A beautiful university town. If you ever get the chance to go and visit Oxford, it's an absolute must. Anyway, here we go. I see... I see the coloured lilacs flame in many an ancient Oxford lane, and bright laburnum holds its bloom, suspended golden in the noon. The placid lawns I often tread are stained and carpeted with red, where the tall chestnuts cast their flowers to mark the fleeting April hours. And now the crowded Hawthorn yields its haunting perfume to the fields. With men and maidens hurrying out along Port Meadow to the trout, there by the coruscating stream, to drink and gaze and gaze and dream, an ageless dame leaves her abode to caper down the Woodstock Road. And greet the dean she used to know a trifling sixty years ago. Queer tricycles of unknown date are pedalled at a frightful rate. Their baskets bulge with borrowed books or terriers of uncertain looks. Perpetual motion in the high beneath a blue and primrose sky and cherry blossom like a cloud beside the traffic roaring loud while daffodils go dancing gold in streets where time runs grey and old and poets sweating in the throng can sometimes hear a blackbird song all Oxford spires are tipped with rose a windfall magic sweetly blows and suddenly it seems in truth as if the centuries of youth are crowding all the streets and lanes in April when the lilac flames. And that's this afternoon's reading from me. I hope you enjoyed it.